Hi guys, it's me again, Sharian, and welcome to another tutorial in math. Our topic for today is about writing the quadratic equation in a form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal 0 given the following roots. There are two different ways of determining a quadratic equation given only the roots. Example number 1. The roots are negative 3 and positive 15. Okay. Using the first method, finding the sum and the product of the roots. So we have the formula x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equals to negative b over a. So ang gagawin natin is i, sa substitute lang natin yung mga given value. So yung x sub 1 natin is negative 3 plus x sub 2 is positive 15 is equals to negative b over b. So, since magkaiba ang sign, so, ang gagawin natin ay subtract. So, negative 3 plus 15 is equals to 12. Since mas malaki yung 15 at yung sign niya is positive, kaya ang sagot natin is positive 12 is equals to negative b over a. So, since ang formula natin ay negative, so, therefore, our answer, answer will be negative 12 is equals to b over a. So, ito yung ating sum of the roots of a quadratic equation. Next, let's find out the product of the roots of a quadratic equation. So, following the formula, x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equals to c over a. Substitute, x sub 1 is negative 3 times x sub 2 is 15 is equals to c over a. So, negative 3 times 15 is equals to 45. Negative times positive is negative is equals to c over a. So, this is our product of the roots. Using the sum and product of the roots, so, ang mabubuo nating equation dito ay x squared. Ang sum natin ay negative 12x at yung product natin ay negative 45 is equals to 0. So, ito yung equation natin with the roots of negative 3 and positive 15. And that is using method number 1. The next method is the backward method or yung method number 2 natin. So, alam natin na yung Okay, so alam natin na yung roots ay x minus, ay minus, x is equals to negative 3. Tapos yung isa ay x is equals to positive 15. So bago dito, so kung gagamitin natin yung backward method, so bago dito, ito muna ay nagdagdag tayo ng positive 3. Addition property of equality. So, nag-add tayo ng positive 3 on both sides of the equation. So, ito ay 0 equals to x plus 3. So, naka ano na siya, 0 product property na siya. Tapos, yung isa, ganun din, nagdagdag tayo ng negative 15 both sides of the equation. So, cancel. This one is 0 is equals to x minus 15. So, x minus 15. So, ito lang siya. Nire-write lang natin siya. So, ito is in the form of zero product property. Okay, next. So, bago dito, ito muna ay naging 
x plus 3 then x minus 15 yan sunod using the foil method so we have x times x is equals to x squared and then x times negative 15 is negative 15x 3 times x is positive 3x and positive 3 times negative 15 is negative 45 and combined similar term which is negative 15x plus 3x so, ganito na yung mangyayari dyan x squared negative 15 plus 3x different sign subtract then copy the sign of the bigger number which is 15 so magiging negative 12x copy negative 45 equals to 0 okay so yan na yung equation natin so ito yung kanina Method 1, Method 2. Now guys, it's up to you which method of determining the quadratic equation do you think is easier to follow. Is it Method 1 or Method 2? That's it guys. Thank you for watching. See you in my next vlog.